Okay, so we've got uh, we've got our animation here. It's looking well. It's looking. Uh, let's create a new layer and show you how we can interact with uh, with a second object. Let's create another circle. Let's make this one red. Select the whole thing. Control G or Apple G to group it. Now let's set a keyframe. In fact, if we just move it over here and we don't set any keyframes, see right now it's just an object that's right there. If we move to the end point, and I'm going to just move the object itself, it doesn't create another keyframe. Remember how before, when we just moved the object, it created its own keyframe? Well, it doesn't here because the keyframe that it's affecting is the very first one. It will only do that if you're in between keyframes. So let me hit F6 to create a new keyframe, move back to the beginning, move this object over here, then I hit the left, sorry, right mouse button and create the motion tween. Now you can see that it's moving independent. Now because we're sandwiched between two keyframes, if I go into the middle and I select the circle and I move it, now it will automatically create any keyframes I want because it's in, as long as it's in between two keyframes. So I can move it here and it automatically creates a keyframe. I can move it here and it automatically creates a new keyframe. So that's the difference between create, uh, creating keyframes frame, key up on the timeline and creating keyframes that are just by moving the object. So let's see what we've got. Now we've got this nice animation going on and we've got two, le two levels and we understand the difference between keyframing up on the timeline and keyframing just by moving the objects.